Hey everyone, this week I thought we'd take a break from Theresa May to discuss Weiwei, the Chinese company with a name that people disagree upon how to pronounce. It's a bit like when people disagree about whether it's envelope or envelope, or how about something like the letter H? You know, if you want to reduce the cost of healthcare, why not just ban access to anybody who insists on in calling it the NHS? Anyway, Weiwei, not to be mistaken for Hawaii. A company supposedly independent of the Chinese government and is complete freedom. <laughs> but so does a child who's been given the choice between a red apple or a green apple, or straight to bed. And talking of apples, the mobile phone industry is the heart of this financial upcoming battle of 5G rollout. You know, who has access to it, who profits from it, and whose intelligence services get to spy on it. For those trying to keep up, the Chinese would like to have access to everything. And the US would like to keep those rights in California, and occasionally Langley, Virginia, where the CIA is. You know, the US has in the past couple of weeks made it pretty clear where it stands with the whole trading with China issue. And so if you're a tech company, you should probably avoid using Huawei products in much the same way that you or I might avoid watching anything beyond the first five seconds of a YouTube advert for Skillshare or anything beyond the penultimate season of Game of Thrones, anyone who's had to suffer that one. But speaking of someone who was too lazy to cook dinner earlier, sometimes buying in Chinese is just irresistible. And that's why the US Commerce Department just put Huawei on its entity list meaning that American companies need to obtain special licenses in order to sell at critical components for its products. And that can make it pretty hard for Huawei to get parts it needs. They've also told intelligence partners like the UK that, yeah, they can do what they want, but if, as has been suggested, they allow Huawei into the UK, then the CIA will cease sharing intelligence secrets with MI6. And that means if the British government wants to learn about weapons facilities in Iran, then they're going to have to tune into Fox News and watch John Bolton when he's on as a commentator. And all for the want of a marginally faster internet speed. You know, it makes you pine for a quasi-romantic era back in the day when spies simply exchanged briefcases, which now I think about it were probably just large 1980s mobile phones before the days when Huawei were making smartphones for everyone. Ah oh, well, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.